he goes out there and got completely lost on the autocross, making me look like I actually knew what I was doing. Do you remember it's All-American Sunday tomorrow? Did we give him a sobriety test? Am I going the wrong way? Do they have driver's ed in California anymore? No. no? <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. We have ran two roadkill cars, and neither one of those boys can figure out how to run the autocross course. Did you put some signs up or something? I know. I didn't get that lost. Was I in the infield or something? Oh, completely. Okay. Oh, so that you don't go there at all. Oh. At this point, we really hadn't gotten good numbers out of either the Datsun or the Kia because we got so lost on track, but we had a good opportunity. Rob McGregor from No Limit Engineering is a guy who builds these really radical handling pickup trucks and who dominates at the Good Guys Autocross Series. He decided to put his butt in the seat and he went out there in the Datsun pouring smoke and raw oil because he didn't turn on the scavenge pump for the turbocharger. He laid down a 77 second time, which was pretty competitive with a lot of the muscle cars and late models that were there. After Rob ran, I jumped behind the wheel to turn a lap, and I really blame him for breaking the car because I got about halfway around the track before the fan belt came off, knocked the oil line off the turbo, and covered most of the racetrack in dirty oil. Smoke is not your friend on the autocross course. Make sure it's not on fire. <laughs> yeah, that came off and hit an oil line. So I think we're pretty much out of your hair for the day. Oh, that's an hey, easy. At least you didn't get lost. <laughs> I yeah. didn't get lost. So all we gotta do is tighten it, yeah. degrease this thing, put yeah. oil in it, oil and we're in back it. on the road. Yep. He was doing good. Looks like he didn't even lose his way right up to the point where the thing burst into billowing smoke. Oh, dude, I was freaking fit of Paldi out there right up until this <laughs> right. exploded. We ended up putting a new fan belt on the Datsun, but ran out of time to make another pass on the autocross. But we were stoked to find out we get another shot at it on Sunday. Well, today I think we finally have our poop in a group. We're going to get around the track with the Datsun. We're actually going to know how to drive the thing. I think we're going to put Finnegan in it because he's got more track time than me at this point and maybe we'll improve on that 77 second time that Rob laid down yesterday. Maybe not, he's a pro driver compared to us. But what we're already seeing is that Datsun is outrunning some of these late model cars. So, I don't know. I don't think we'll embarrass ourselves today. All right, here we go. Try not to suck. Alright, come on baby, let's not get lost. High-tech fabrication on the course right now. I love how they made it so the uh, front turning signal park lights come on every time they hit the brakes. Not everybody can do that, or would want to. every car here this morning. So the very first lap that I didn't get lost, we ran a 75, eighth yep. place at every car here. Yep. Wow. You wonder how good is 75 seconds really? Well, it was good enough to beat a handful of nearly stock muscle cars and a handful of brand new hopped up muscle cars. But 75 was not at all embarrassing for our jump dots. All that was left to do was to find out, was it really faster than the Kia? And we didn't have a lot of time to do that because nobody around here wanted the Kia on that racetrack. So I only had one shot at it. And he runs a 78.8 and a one second violation. 78.8. Lower than the Rotson. I am the fastest man alive. Thanks, Motor Trend. Beat your car. <laughs> Finally. Only took two tries and a whole lot more money. 